welcome back to the channel everyone today we are going to be looking at this toolkit and how to best use it to find our herds quickly now this toolkit was put together by one of the creators in the discord so all the credit for this tool goes to them and there will be a link down in the description on where you can use this and with this kind of information put together it's super easy to complete missions and just to find the location of the herds at exactly what time you're hunting now, depending on the critter you are hunting, whether it's small game or big game, you're going to want to go ahead and check the encyclopedia. In there, you're going to find all the need times. And then when you go back to your map and check the time, you'll have a rough idea of what those critters are going to be doing at that time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be taking on the pheasant mission in Transylvania. The mission requires us to take 10 pheasants. So we're going to use this tool to find each need zone. And then we're going to go over there and we're going to harvest a couple. And just as a quick reminder, make sure you're always looking at all the parameters for this mission. We will have to use the Holden Jack double barrel shotgun. We're going to go down here to the southwest portion of the map down here in these grasslands. And we're going to start off with this pheasant flock right here. And I'm just trying to orientate myself as to where the need zones are with this tool. So that way when I go ahead and swap back to my map like this, I can actually go ahead and set my pings to approximately where I think those need zones are going to be. So now that we have a rough estimate of where they are at, let's go ahead and head that way. I'm about 50 meters right now. I did jump ahead in the clip, but I just didn't want to waste a whole lot of time with running around and you having to run around with me. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a red deer eating often right here. And it is really this easy. I mean, ping the spot and then just kind of head to your ping and you will definitely see a need zone somewhere in the area. That's kind of why I'm looking around every which way. Also, I'm trying to get some animal cues. Always nice to have an opportunity hunt. And there it is. So there we go. Pheasant resting often. That's pretty good. Almost right on the ping. And now we'll just look where to head next. The pheasants weren't here resting. It's not their rest time. So we're going to go up. We're going to take a look. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no. That's their resting zone. We're going to go off to our next one. And I chose the pheasants because it is one of the easier species to demonstrate this with. I mean, they're fairly unspookable. You can almost walk right up to them. But also because most of their need zones are going to be out in the open. So they'll be fairly easy to see, making this a you know, pretty quick demonstration. So we'll just take a quick check of the map here to see how close we're getting. And yeah, I mean, we're pretty much right on top of it. So we'll just keep heading in this direction. The best thing I can say is, you know, check your map frequently to make sure that you are marking the right valley and the, you know, the right hill. So that way you're not headed to some random marker. There we go. Once again, about 20 meters away from the mark that I put down. In that little bit of time, we were able to find the eating and the sleeping zones for this flock. We have one more mark to go check out, and that's where we're going to head next. And it's going to be an eating zone, so here we are about 50 meters away. Now, since they weren't at any of their other zones, my bet is that they're going to be up here, and we'll snag one out of here for this mission. And I pretty much always got to have me a little look-see to make sure I'm not taking something just wild out of here. So let's get that final zone and take a peek. Nice little one star. All right, so we're going to take this one star adult out of here. I'm not too worried about it. Wrong gun. Always do that. I'm always pulling the wrong gun. Here we go. And... Take the distance real fast and nailed him. I do just love this double barrel shotgun though. It is so nice. That reload animation is sweet. Here we go. More. Go over here and we just flew right over the hill. Alright, let's see what we got. 56. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this flock over here. We are back on the toolkit map. And you can see they have a uh, feed zone, rest rest, and feed zone below that. We'll mark basic where that valley is and we're gonna you know go down here to this campsite real fast and march over here so i actually what that's a red that's a red deer yeah what's up and this is what i was talking about earlier with those opportunity hunts 
Keep your ears and eyes open for everything. We got a two star mature over here that I think we're gonna go ahead and take. We'll collect him after the video, but hey. Do some herd management real quick. I just need them to come out of those trees down there though. This is why I love Transylvania. Oh, wrong collar. Because it's just these little movements. You have to be super technical on your hunt. Oh, there we go. One star. Yeah, we'll take this guy. Hurry up, hurry up. Always takes forever. There we go. To swap. Sometimes I'll lose them. My next video is going to be on some wolves and how the spotting system works. I have a terrible time with it sometimes. Here we go. Pink. Alright, we'll go over there and take that guy later. Might not have got him. Might not be a very good hit. It is a little gun, so we'll see. I'll check that later. Let's go up here and mark it. We'll go up here and finish what we were doing. So let's go ahead and grab this need zone real quick. Take a look at the map just to make sure we're headed in the right direction. Yep, and we got that feed zone right there. Yeah, here we go. We got some more. Snag this one star out of here. You're mine. They put. Nice. Ooh, let's get this flyer. Mm, no. Nope. Alright, let's just go check and see if we got the one we were after here. The one star adult. Nice. Alright, 55. Doing pretty good so far. Let's just go down the hill here. They're over here. I'll. Snag another one out of here. What do we got? Pheasant. <laughs> this shotgun is just so slick. I love it. The pattern is so tight. Uh, you, you can really head on from 50 to 80 meters. Okay, well, we got a little loosey-goosey there. That was 88. All right, we'll head down to this next need zone over here. And just pick this need zone. That way we, you know, we've discovered everything from that flock. All right, there we go. Pick up a resting zone. And then we're going to head over to this flock. And see what's going on over here. See if we can grab one. And again, I got one eating zone. So we'll go over to the toolkit. And I got the top eating zone. So I'm going to mark just roughly where that resting zone was. And then we're going to go over there. And again, just look around. Be aware of your surroundings. On your way, boom. Resting zone. I mean, it's a little further than the one that I pinged on that one, but... I was headed to roughly the same direction, so I kind of knew where it was at. And the same with the, this... And the same with this eating zone, rarely. Uh, it's just about knowing approximately where they're at, and then just heading in that direction. Boom. Finding it. So here we are again. We're going to grab this pheasant up here. I have a sneaking suspicion. I'm about to get busted here. Oh. Alright, let's see if we can get one of these flyers. Nope. Oh, bad shots. Bad shots. It's alright. We'll go up here. Reload. Get up here and grab one of these.
And you can hear something is off to my right and spooked, but these guys are just chilling. They're one of the most calm species. Uh, there we go. That was a nice shot. Kind of gives you a taste of what this range is capable of with this gun. It's just, it's nice. I just gotta get better at the flying shots. All right, let's see what we got. All right, 52, not bad. Let's get this next one up here. And I think what we're gonna do is just hunt the rest of the video, just get these pheasants. Rinse and repeat, the same thing. Use the toolkit, find them, find where they're at, go over there, take one out. And it's pretty easy after you get the system down, you figure out how to find the need zones. It's really just about going to the toolkit, finding their need zone, and going there. Mark it on your map and just go over there. Boom. And it makes these missions go so quick. I think I did this mission in just under an hour, and that was messing around with a toolkit and trying to make sure that I had my recordings perfect. So if you're just a player going out here trying to grab a couple of pheasants, this is going to be quick work. Oh, see, again, my, my flying shots are just nothing. I got to work on that big time. So we're up to, what, eight right now? We need two more. And what's nice is I've done really good about being able to grab low genetics on just a whim. See, there we go, number nine. And there's just one more need zone that I'm going to head to over here. And grab the last one. Here we are. And it's really this simple. You can do this with red deer, fallow, mouflon, chamois. I mean, you can do this with any species. Not just the ones on Transylvania. All of them. Aurora Shores, Nesperce. They're pretty much going to be in the exact location of this toolkit. And I really, really like that this is out there. It's going to help a lot of players get into this game but that's going to be it for this one i hope that helped in some fashion or another and it really cuts down on the time that it takes to hunt an individual species and even if you're not into hunting an individual species this will just help you along your entire day hunt if that's the way you choose to go you can just look at what species is around you and then mark their need zones and head that way there's no need to go ahead and sleep and go straight for the need zones you know we can find those need zones with this toolkit now and i will be making a couple more videos on this toolkit the next one you can go ahead and check out is gonna be on management and how we can actually log what is in each herd that we are hunting with that one though i'm gonna get out of here thank you so much for the support and as always have a good day